<laughs> Look at the greedy bleeders. Morning. The vlog. Almost an hour later, Abby and Nick are still, come on, still uh, looking at diffusers. Yeah, shall I turn the camera around? Welcome to a new vlog. Waking up in the Radisson Park in, in Manchester. If you saw our last vlog, we had a patron meet. Um, had a meal last night. We've got to shoot off early this morning. It is 8.56 a.m. Today we're going to meet our friend Peter, who we last saw down at the um, Apple Tree Lodges. Nick's just getting ready. We don't have time for any breakfast. We just had a cup of tea, as you saw. And um, we're going to go for some lunch. Got about a two hour drive. We're going to call in and see uh, my sister as well and the girls on the way and um, that's what's happening today. Probably going to have a very early night tonight with two late nights behind me. Are you almost ready? He's just making himself beautiful in the, in the bathroom and um, then we'll uh, check out and uh, on our way. Neil and Tracy are having breakfast here, they paid for it last night. Did they? Yeah. Bloody gannets. <laughs> 25 quid. What? For two people for breakfast in this hotel. Mm. Which I think is a good, good, good quality because in the, in the best 12, western it was £36 for breakfast, I think. So we'll just pack up and uh, get on our merry way. I'll pack up if you shift. Look at the greedy bleeders. Morning. Look at the greedy tods. <laughs> you're only jealous that you're not sat down. I am. <laughs> right, we're just leaving the car park. I think you have to maybe put it in then. Here we go. Done. So, as we said on um, the earlier scene, or the previous vlog, whichever it is, I'm not sure. Um, it was basically £22 to park in here, but if you stay at the park in, they give you a voucher to reduce it down to 10 So £10 in the centre of Manchester for overnight parking is pretty damn cheap. Do you not agree? I do. Please have to navigate and concentrate. Here they are. Let's go. What are you been up to, Troubles? Chubby cheeks! Right, we've got something for you. That's for Masha. Thank you. And this is for Monkey. And there's a little card and it says, um, to Monkey and Masha, a little gift for you to use on your holidays. Have a super time. I'm sure you will love the camper van. I love Wendy, Jamie and family. So it's something to take in the motorhome. I don't know what it is. Two beach towels. Who is it? Towels? No, they feel like beach, beach towels. Yeah, to lay on. Not oh, to, to lay on, on. Yeah. yeah. Or you can oh. just lay outside the There's... motorhome. When so when you're wet, with your wetsuit on, you can come back on the beach and then you can lay on that. And who oh. is it? Yeah. Who is this on it? Me. No, I thought it was Claire Bella, wasn't it? Like it? That's the, the, the brand of the, right. the company. Right, right, um, right. But they, do, they design them to so they look like yourselves. You can design oh, them yeah. so they look like yourselves. There you go. And it's, Have you got, packed yet? Look, there's a camper van in the background. Let's get packing. How cool is that? Oh, that's mm. perfect. Yeah. Oh, wow. You're going to say thank you to Wendy. Thank, thank you. you. Got something else for you now. Who wants which hand? Which hand? Which hand? Oh, it's one of those octopus thingies from the vlog. Yeah. Yes, oh, on the ship. so cute. 
Tracy, Megan. Tracy and Faith made them, and Tracy's mum. And they were <laughs> leaving around the ship for people. They're so cute. And the mm. same one for you guys. Aww. Did you find them? Uh, no, no, Tracy gave me them for the girls. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, You're then. gonna put them on your door handles? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Family visits over with, and uh, we are now on our way to Helmsley um, to a place called I think it's Feversham Arms, um, like a spa resort. Um, we are meeting our friend Peter there and his family for a lunch. Sunday lunch. I went to Sunday lunch. Yeah, I'm just thinking I'm, I'm, I'm fancying something like that actually. He sent me a picture as well, they sell blue so <laughs> I'm happy. Guess I'm driving back. Um, I need lots of water actually to hydrate for the last couple of days and a nice proper lunch catch up with Peter. Final splurge and then we're back on wagon. Uh, yeah, then we're back to the lodge. Off the wagon, whatever this is saying is. Unpack. We've got some boxes in the back as well to unpack, which we'll show you when we get back. And then uh, just have an early night tonight, I think. Bit of TV, bit of sofa time, movie, bit of movie time. I go watch party. Yeah. And um, there we go. So we have 36 minutes to go. I think we're having a drink there actually with Peter. Um, this looks a nice little town. What, what is it? Oh, this is Helmsley. Right? 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 So, the National night. Centre of Birds of Prey down there, if you like that kind of thing. So this yeah. looks like a nice place to come. Yorkshire Quainty. Yeah. We've never been before. No. I don't think we have anyway. It's like it could be busy. Where do we park? So, the, uh, the pub is on the right hand side ahead. Yeah. Nice little town. We might to come back in and explore yeah, it properly. It does remind me a little bit of Thornton Le Dale. I think it's called Rydale as well around here. Uh, Rydale's the street we're on. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Feversham Arms and the right. Baina Spa. Let's go and have a look. Right, we're just having lunch with our friends Peter and Abby. Here they are. These guys are having mussels. And uh, I'll show you around this place a little bit later, but there's a pool behind me and some um, places there where they, these guys are staying. Nick's just took it in some uh, lamb kofters. That's absolutely amazing. Not quite the Sunday lunch you were going to get, was it? No, but it's fine. Because yeah. I can have Sunday lunch anywhere at any time, yeah. so... Save me a bit of that. Mm? I've got a superfood salad yeah. and these guys have got okay. some mussels. Right, we've had his lunch and uh, we're just going to check out a uh, local brewery nearby which uh, Peter knows of and uh, so I'll just show you a little bit more here. So there's the pool. It's like being abroad but in the UK yeah, but when you, see the, when you see the, um, the hotel from the, from the street front, it's just like, you would not imagine that no, behind it, it there's got like an like outdoor pub. pool. So, and it's heated as well, heated pool. Um, these are the um, rooms which Peter and Abby are staying in which I think poolside rooms, we've got spa rooms up there as well. And it's a Sunday and it's a holiday, it's sort of kids holidays. And it's so didn't know quiet. Something like this existed no. in like Yorkshire. No, so we, but when a, you see the road from the front, you'll understand yeah. that you just, it's just not obvious. So there's a restaurant over there by the looks of it. And uh, we're going to have a look in Peter's room when we get back, his key's actually not ready yet. Yep. Um, so I'll just show you. now we're going to check out the brewery. Yeah, in here as we go in, because I noticed it smells beautiful in here. This is, it's a spa hotel as well. I wanted to have a quick look in the library. Oh, it's not oh, in I use. It's not in use, but look at this. Chess. Just could just plonk myself down oh there. Can you smell that? Yeah, it's got it's a really like nice a smell. Hotel. I love the panelling. Yeah. And the little built in sofa. So, come on, we're going to a brewery now. Come on. Right, so we're just walking around to the brewery. So I'd show you this little uh, square area filled with uh, pubs and little shops. Charcuterie. Caricature. Caricature. Caricature board. I heard that word. <laughs> just calling into the ginger bear shop. I like these bookends. So, the gin and the tonic. Unfortunately, we don't have books because I read everything on a Kindle, but I do like those. Almost an hour later, Abby and Nick are still, come on, still 
uh, looking at diffusers while well, myself and Peter are waiting to go to the brewery. The brewery? <laughs> right, we're in the brewery. Nick's got a flight and so is Peter. He did tell me which way to drink it, but I forgot. I think it was... Left was this right. from right to left? From right to left. Yeah. yeah. So that's the strong one. Ginger beer. 5.5 on the right. Right then. It yeah. reminds me of Raglan Old. Yeah, when well, we had one on Christmas Day. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. That's quite smooth, yeah. actually. Yeah. I'm going to try the other one. Me and Abby's been good. Abby's got a diet, a diet Coke. I've got a ginger beer. Yeah, I've got crisps today. Yeah, we've got crisps as well. <laughs> right, I'm going for the strong one. Well, almost, well, it's almost like a... Not a Guinness, but it's... it's yeah, it's like a really dark meat. Guinness, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Right, we're going to have a tour of the hotel room. I have to have a tour of the brewery. So we've never been in here, so we have no idea what we're going to expect. Just walked in this very moment. Oh my god, it's got a log burner. Is it? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my god, it's freezing in there. It's lovely. Right, living room and uh, a log burner. A log burner. Is it actually a log burner? I don't know, it looks like it. I wonder where your logs are. I mean, just, I don't know. Yeah, sulfur. Look at this as well, look. An espresso machine. Oh god, here we go. Some espresso pods <laughs> and hot chockies. Yeah. The carpet's the same as Bedroom. the Bedroom, yeah, that's apartment. nice. Exactly the same yeah. carpet we've got in the apartment. Well, nice. And look then, at that. Um, the I won't go over because uh, it's been raining outside and my, my shoes are wet, but that is. Uh, I love then, it. Look at this, look at this. Oh, yeah. Sliding doors. We need some like that in the camper van in the motorhome. Yeah. <laughs> but at the back for our bedroom. That. You'd have to put curtains yeah. or something like that. Right, the guys have kind of just let us uh, have a look around and uh, we're now going to go for a, another drink and a coffee. Do you not think it's weird though that all these colours you were something that you would never choose yourself? Oh, it's all the same, isn't it? We're, well, we're just rubbish at interior just, design. Just better to copy. Right, come on, because we're not staying here unfortunately. Well, then. Right, this is the weather vane. Restaurant. Which is the restaurant. I just wanted to show you quickly. Look at the windows, it's like completely um, just yeah. glass, it's all glass. Oh my god, look at the size of the shade, like big... Yeah, right, so we're going in the bar to have a coffee and uh, probably a beer or something and yep. uh, I'll show you in the bar when we get there. And as Lou said, it's called the weather vane. And then here is like a lounge area with these huge mirrors. I love I love the decor. I just wish we had like the style that, to be able to do it. And then like the Marriott's, they have like merchandise and things like that. And then this is like the bar area. Peter's there just ordering. Very... Um, Lounging. It's contemporary, but yeah. but homey. Do you know what I mean? Right, it's 7.07 at night. Um, Peter's made me drink multiple... Those flights? Multiple, multiple of of nice. flights of beer. They were only three pounds for a flight, because I was saying... Was it? Imagine how much those flights would have been elsewhere. They were only three pounds. They'd be about 10 quid in um, Raglan Road. So we've been drinking beers for the last hour. We've been catching up. We've been I've kind not. of exchanging stories. Lee, Lee's been drinking coffees and... Um, lime and sodas and things so those guys have gone for their evening meal um, we're gonna head back to the lodge it's gonna be about an hour and a half before we get back and then when we get back we're having a muscle food aren't we yes I'm quite hungry actually what are you browsing I'm just programming oh Sat programming the back to the lodge right come on get back I might have a nap now actually go on then and just like that we're back the Sun is just setting over the lake um, the muscle foods are cooking in the microwave Lee's got his slacks on we've unpacked Bit of washing to do, and uh, now it's just time to chill. Welcome to the next day. <laughs> the wash is on. Um, washing our clothes from the trip. Um, we've just been tidying the lodge, we've been cleaning up, we've been catching up on stuff. Um, paperwork. Paperwork and all sorts of stuff like that. So, um, we're ready, we're showered, ready for the day. I'm gonna do some blog work and it's gonna go in the hot tub for an hour whilst I plonk myself down with a coffee and do some um, writing. Um, before we go out though, we've got something to show you. We had a delivery. You've seen them before on our blogs. We have uh, worked with these guys before and we really like them. It is a cherries delivery. So this time we have three boxes. Um, we both chose some things. Nick's going to unpack them now. Follow me. So the first thing that Nick's going to get out, you probably wouldn't... Uh... I'll just do it on the floor here because there's going to be so much. It's yeah, not fit okay. Top. You probably wouldn't expect the first thing that's going to come out of this box. Because cherries is usually like... Food for us, but there we go. A Another pillow. snuggle cushion. I've got one of these, almost the same as it on the bed. That's a but really it, nice but it's gone one. flat and it's really firm fibre inside it. Yeah. Um, I can't remember how much that one cost, but 
I actually used that last night yeah. to add the boxes open. So Nick will put all the details below in the yes. uh, description of if you guys want to check out Cherries. Yeah, so you guys will actually get 25% off your first order. Um, and the description and all the details for that will be in the description below using the code to use as well. And I've got to say, this delivery, we ordered it, say, let's say Thursday afternoon. At four o'clock. It was delivered on Friday morning. Yeah. It was really good. I mean, it, they do use uh, Hermes, but uh, they were very good this well, time. Every, every now, isn't it? Every or yeah. something, yeah. Right, so my cushion. Now, on the way back last night to the lodge, we did open this box and uh, ravenous. grab a packet of crisps each out of it. And a, and a bliss bar. So, so I actually bars. got four bliss, packets of bliss bars, some cracker bread. We got some kids stuff for the kids for the road trip. Yeah. So rainbow, rainbow drops. drops. Them just to stock the cupboards up. Fish and chips. Oh my god. Um, we can't go camping without having beans and sausage. Yeah. So I got some of them. Um, these are for the kids. Whether they'll ever see them, who knows? They need to go in the fridge on the camper van. Another bliss bar. Now this one, I couldn't work out what it was. I thought it was some kind of candle that I'd ordered, but. It's actually a jar of marmalade. All right, okay. So they wrap the jars up, okay. So that's one box done. The next one is we've got cleaning products. Oh, in. I put that in. I can't remember what it is now. What is it? Uh, oh yeah, it's a. Oh, it's um, a drinks cooler. You freeze it. It's a food and drinks cooler, and it's reusable. It's gel. Helps keep food and drinks cool. So I shows you on the back. You just put it in the freezer, do you? Let's have a look. Wash for to freeze the cooling pack. Place in the freezer for a few hours until frozen, and then um, just take that out. So that, I thought that'd be good for the for the camper van again. Always need a good poo. Mm. So we've got toilet roll and bleach. Ooh, they're big links. Bloody hell, you're not kidding. We got shower gels. We got blocked nose tablets and hay fever tablets. Just to stop up. Nick suffers from hay fever if the pollen is bad. Shower gels. Ooh, oh, smells there. I yeah. almost threw that box away. Then what's these? Make sure I've not missed anything in that one either. No. Right, so what's this? Wish that oh, the, uh, washer uh, had area. Of, just cans of deodorant. Okay, yeah. Antiperspirant deodorant, is it? So it's basically everything that you'd get. Let's say if you went to like Wilco's or something, yeah. or Bargains or B&M, but it just comes to your door the next day. Oh, I got one of these for the camping trip as well. Well, not camping trip, I keep saying camping. Camping, camping. It's a freezer bag. It's, uh, it's a beach bag, actually. No, no, it's a freezer bag. It's, hey. It should be foil inside, like aluminium foil. Oh yeah. It's for um, keeping your food cool. So look, coolest shopping bag. But yeah, I but we'll use that for the beach because we can take like picnics yeah. and things in it. Yeah. And it's, it, yeah, it's massive. massive. <laughs> right, skinny whips. Them's for us, for the cupboards. Space Raiders. Um, just thought I might try them for breakfast. I'll eat the breakfast bars. More stuff for the kids. The kids are going to get excited when they see this video. So, I always call them Naomi's. Uh, some wine gums. What some these? palm sticks. Oh, yeah, like they didn't have ooh, the paprika, sour cream. but they've rebranded the packets. My favourite crisps. Kids will never see them. Tea cakes. I never, were never a fan of them ooh, when I, I like were a kid. Um, more palm sticks, sour cream. Some washlets. Probably for Lee. That might seem strange, but we never have any malt vinegar. So now we do. The sun cream. For the um, camping trip. We're not going camping. Road trip. <laughs> uh, Saurine. Oh, they've got small. Blimey. Just general cleaning stuff. Uh, disposable gloves for That's when we're for, emptying the, uh, yeah. the potty. On the uh, camper van. Yeah. Not camper van, motorhome. <laughs> Get it right, goodness sake. Bin bags, just general sort of cleaning. Antibacterial wipes. Wow, that's My big. <laughs> God. A litre oh, of save me tomato ketchup. Chewing gum, because Lee's always having chewing gum. In the car, that needs to go in the car. Spicy rice, because I was just browsing. Jeez. A little Tupperware box. Oh, for the girls, oh, Unicorn gems. gems. Yeah, yeah. We were we'll talking about them on Friday yeah. night, weren't we? Oh, there's another jar here. And then here, think it's peanut butter. All the crunchy peanut wow, butter. They're big, big jars, jars, aren't they, as well? Yeah. Get. So, Perfect. there we go. Right, we'll put so, all this away. And um, like Nick says... 25% off your first order. It's only your first order, and the description and the link and everything is in the details below. Yeah. Right, hot tub time for Nick. He's just about to get in over there. I'm going to plop myself down here in the relaxation area and uh, I'm working on a blog post uh, about um, Airbnb and what we like about Airbnbs and things like that. You may have seen it already. If not, our patrons will see because they're getting um, first look at all the posts that go out. So they're actually checking all my posts today and uh, seeing them for the first time. Putting shorts on here so you can't see me. And uh, there we go. Nick, such relax. Shall I turn the camera around? <laughs> Hurry up, because I'm not getting a cup of tea in a minute brought in. Right, 
as the sun has come out, we thought we'd just head for a little drive, maybe pick up some lunch on the way. And tonight we're doing a YouTube live. We've not done one for ages uh, with our patrons and YouTube members. Uh, so that's at 7 p.m. And um, then tomorrow we've got to get them ready for, which is probably in the next vlog, um, the family coming over because they're coming over tomorrow. My mum and dad's bringing um, my sister and the kids over. My mum and dad are staying in the lodge while we take my sister and the kids um, to a nice Airbnb in Matlock. It's five people. Um, so I think my sister and the kids will have one bedroom with a sofa bed in and things like that. And then me and Nick will have the other one. It looks very nice. So we'll show you that on the next vlog. And then my mum and dad also get a little holiday in with it as well. They're staying at the lodge. Um, so I'm arranging sort of like some get togethers for them with some of our friends, Peter and Lane, Jackie and Richard. Well, actually, mum and dad slash then. <laughs> So that hopefully they'll have a nice time while we're away. So, off for some lunch now. I fancy something like a tuna sandwich or something like that. Yeah, I mean we've had we've had it a lunch kind of. We've had sort of crisps and and um, skinny whip bars. So this is That's like not really a lunch. An extra. That was just a snack. Lunch. Right where we are, there's a mountain warehouse, and I always like to have a little look, just see if I can get a better bag. I love my bags, as you know. So, um, what Nick, about the eight that's under the bed that you've never used? Nick loves this. There isn't eight under the bed, just at least six. And so it begins, hunting through the shelves for a bargain. We have actually looked in here the other day, so he's not going to find one. You want a mirror? I've got one, thanks. Where's we didn't get, we didn't get a bag. Lee found the one that he's already got, and basically it was only nine quid. Well, it was about 20 it. when you got that, wasn't it? I almost got it. Oh, it's warm in here, get windows down. I'll get that and then um, it's just a new, because mine's a bit grotty now, but use it every day. And if anybody wants to know why I, I, you, we take a bag out with us every day, wherever we go, it's because it's got all my camera equipment in, extra batteries, Which are that cleaning big? cloths. Which um, is that big? Another, um, a um, extra tripod. Um, my phone's ringing. And things like that. And I like to take my Kindle out as well, because I, I want to read. It was just suspected spam. And also my camera case in there as well. And some extra bat uh, charging, emergency charger. And Stop your on. umbrella. And my umbrella. And just your ponchos. All, no, I don't take ponchos around. And your hand sanitizer. <laughs> Always got hand sanitizer on me. Um, just the essentials. So anyway, um, yeah, we didn't have it, but that tuna sandwich was nice. Mm. Oh, well, I fancy a bun. Uh, well, <laughs> fat. I fancy, fancy a chocks, fancy a chocks bun. <laughs> bun. I really do fancy a chocks I bun. I can't even remember Nick saying that on a previous vlog. We've had a lot of comments on our Facebook group today saying they were absolutely laughing that you said chocks bun and it's was it shoe bun shoe. or something? Yeah. I don't even know what I do I love a chocks bun. <laughs> Although we used to call them elephant's feet as kids. A lot of people said oh, they'd it heard an about elephant's feet. Yeah. yeah right, okay. It's just basically a chocks bun. Stop whining people. Did you know it was called a, cho a shoe bun? I did, but I always, I've always called it chocks. Yeah. But I do love to tease, so. And I just get it wrong anyway. Yeah. Back at the lodge, it's very warm. We're trying to cool it down. Nick's just uh, emptying the washer there. I'm gonna refill it again in a minute. And I've got some questions I'm gonna do. So I put a post on our Facebook a while back um, and our Patreon and um, YouTube communities um, asking you guys to ask us some questions. If there's anything you wanna ask us, then we'll reply to them. So I'm gonna go through some of the Patreon ones now and we shall answer a couple. So we're gonna start with a comment, uh, a question, sorry, from Brianna. Hi, Brianna. Brianna is all the way over in Hawaii. Uh, Brianna says, I know that you both had a hard time coping with lockdown. Kind of hard, but... Not the first one. No, the, I think everybody had the same kind of issues in lockdown, definitely. Um, I think the first some one... Some people a lot more than us. I think the first one, for a lot of people, because it was good weather, it, it mm. felt like summer. Everybody felt like they'd got a summer holiday, and that's when kind of, like, discord became the hub for everybody's kind of social activity. For and our, we were doing, for our community, for our our community, community. yeah. So we were, we were literally chatting on there 12 hours a day. We were saying goodbye on the night, we were waking up in the morning and people were jumping in and, and jumping out of that. So that so kept us sane. Lockdown, it was more- Well, it was three. Well, yeah, but was, was there? It was well, three, yeah, there was one in oh, the the November. the second wasn't too bad because we would still go out, was that right? You could go shopping or something? No. we were getting ready for Christmas, weren't we? No, November there was a lockdown. It was the third one that was the, yeah. was the worst. The was second, then, then everything opened up for December for everybody to get Christmas and spread it. And then the third one lasted from January, right or, through or to Boxing April, Day or whatever it was, right through to April. That was but the it worst. It felt like yeah. a constant six months. The weather was poor. We I were actually in... enjoyed it. I didn't. Not and, at all. and I was doing different things. If you remember back, I got I got into like st create, creative journaling, and that 
that helped me get through lockdown. I was doing like Zoom calls with our patrons about it. I felt like a zoo animal walking around a pen. <laughs> Nick just couldn't find anything to keep himself occupied. We decorated the apartment and it was done before yeah. the lockdown started. So if we'd have, in hindsight, we would have probably waited and yeah. done the decorating so during Nick, lockdown because it would have kept yeah, us busy. Nick struggles more than I do, even though it's usually me that struggles with mental health. Nick struggled a lot more because I'm more of a, although I love exploring the world, I love going out, I love socializing. I'm quite happy, content in my home, of being cosy, and you know what I mean. I'm, I, I like being in my home, as well as exploring outside. But it drives Nick crazy if he's in like. The I same like to be busy. Walls, yeah. I like to be busy, um, and out and about, which is why we want to focus more on travel. And um, when we, before COVID, the plan was we were going to switch more, less away from day-to-day -day vlogging and do more travel, and then it all got put on hold, mm -hmm. and we're kind of just now getting back into it with yeah. a two-year gap. So back to Brianna's question, she says, um, "You, um, how have you been coping, been doing mentally as of late? You both seem so happy and to be thriving lately in your vlogs, and it's been, uh, so it's truly been so good to see." Um, We've got to travel, basically. We're getting to do the things that we planned to do before. Nick's taking his socks off. Lockdown. We haven't been to New York. We didn't. We didn't get a chance to do that. That was originally on the plans. What's this got to do with it's the current state of mental health? Because. We would have we've not done what we would have what we planned to do, but we did other things instead. So and he kept us occupied and busy. Our mental health. I'm I think I'm in a good place to be honest. At the minute we all have our ups and downs. We all have our days where we feel. Meh and I think it's nice to have things to look forward to. Well, yeah. And in always. lockdown, you were you were, you didn't have an end date to it. That was the problem. It was yeah. like how long more is how much more longer is this going to go on? But ideally, the thing that I try to do these days is you, you've got to be try and be happy where you are. And with the Very current best. moment, so the the ideal situation, and it's much harder than you can, um, you know, to say than do is not only be happy when you've got things to look forward to, because you can't spend your life just looking forward to things and maybe having a holiday and then getting back and being all depressed because you've got nothing to look forward to. Which is what happens. You, I mean, you do holiday, holiday blues. blues anyway, like. But you've got to. I always try and think, try and be in the present moment, be happy where you are now, because you know, I like, like to plan. Yeah, but well, which is fine. But, but I'm just saying, the only thing that you've got in life is now, right this very second, right this very moment. And if you're happy in this very moment, and you keep being happy in future moments, then you'll get to the end of the life, which is also another moment, and you'll look back and you think, I had lots of nice moments, and I had a pretty good life. Ruby Wax? No. I came up with that on myself. <laughs> no, I just think a lot of people, and me including in the past, try to think, what would my life be like if I was happy? And thinking of ways to be happy and thinking of like, I'll do this, I'll be happy when this happens, I'll be happy when that happens, I'll be happy when I go on holiday, I'll be happy when I move house, I'll be happy when I buy that So new live in the moment, and be happy in the moment. You can go through your whole life saying, I'll be happy when, and then you get to the end of your life and you think, oops, I forgot to be happy, I was always waiting for the next thing. So the, the, or focusing on the wrong thing. The trick is to be happy wherever you are and you'll feel a lot better. That was, deep. that was deep. <laughs> right, next question. Um, um, Kylie says, what are your recommendations for finding cruise holiday bargains, discounts and drink packages? Look every day. Take? Look every day. Um, have a list of websites that you check regularly. Um, we previously used Viva Voyage before I became a travel agent to be able to get them at the price that Viva, Viva are getting Viva Voyages them. has always been really good We've for booked us. every cruise through Viva Voyages. Um, We've signed up to other websites, but none of them seem to beat the price of Viva. And I think when Stacey booked hers, she used Viva. Um, in terms, everybody, everybody we've talked to has used Viva because they've always bet the price. In terms of drinks packages, you can always just wait for them to email you like some offers. Don't Probably don't get it. Don't get it on day one. Unless a really good deal when you're booking it. Wait for them to start emailing you like offers, they will do. off, stuff like that. At and the minute, there's forty pound per day on UK on European sailings for this summer on Royal Caribbean. And if you don't get an email, you can try and get on board and go to not customer service. Any of the bars. Any of the bars. Because we've seen people doing this, and we've tried this ourselves as well. Any of the bars and ask about the drinks package, and they usually offer you a, di a discount as well. The problem with the drinks package is. You, you pay you pay a certain amount and you know that all your drinks are free so you spend the whole trip trying to get your money's worth yeah. and getting absolutely bladdered when you didn't really want to and I can't drink as much I mean no. we've had it in the past and it is nice just to be laid around the pool and think cocktail please yeah. cocktail please but you wouldn't, you wouldn't have, have that if you didn't have a drinks package no and especially if you've got lots of parts and you're going to be getting off 
You can always get your money's worth. I mean, some people yeah. will, but I, I never do. I mean, on the last trip, we just took a couple of bottles of wine with us and some um, some sodas, and we didn't. We, we brought some wine back, didn't we? We didn't even drink mm-hmm. it all. So, so if you're not, if it's not available, then you don't think about it. But we did buy some drinks. But I think my bar bill was about 130 dollars yeah. for the month uh, and, for the week, and which you, is nothing you, for me. It's nothing. If you're on the last trip, we took the two bottles of wine. I just filled like a, a, a wine glass up as we went out on an evening, and that usually sort of like did me for the, for the whole night. I'm, I think if you don't pay no, you can take spirits, but on the Caribbean you can't. Right. I'm not a huge drinker, so a little bit will do me. Right, one more from uh, Simon and Claire. How did you get to know the Bazers? I thought about this before previously because a few people have asked that. I th- Bazza just joined our Orlando Facebook group. And started commenting. Started commenting. We sort of like started watching his videos. I started commenting on his videos. He started commenting on our videos. We just kind of got to know each other through our Facebook group and then That's YouTube. what happens. Yeah, but that's what happens with a lot of people that, yeah. that we talk to. In the community. I mean, we've got we've got a friend, Kerry, who was an airline um, stewardess. We got chatting to her from Instagram. We met her at, um, at Wine Bar George. We saw her in LA. We met her randomly at Celebration. We just... Instagram, mm. social media. So uh, we meet a lot of people through Patreon as well I and YouTube members. Bazza, it just kind of gradually happened. And yeah. we must have just sort of messaged each other one day. I don't know yeah. really. And then he said he was coming over last year. And he says, let's, let's get together, let's meet up. So yeah. we did and we hit off straight away. Yeah. And um, he, he also, because it was on our Facebook group, he also got to know like Jade. Um, so he's good friends with Jade and a lot of people that we know, he knows. Then he, he came onto our Discord um, chat channels. Got to know people there, and then we get them on Discord because easy. Because if we talk on Instagram, it's two of us on one one login. But on Discord, if we put them on as like a guest or something like that, we can both chat independently yeah. on our own logins. And the so rest it's easier is, to do that. The rest, as you know, is history. Those guys invited us to go and stay with them in January, yeah. and at first, for quite a while, we're like, no, no way, we're going to impose on, no. on you like that. Well, we were going to. All, all they wanted us to do was house it when they went to. Um, mm, where, the, were, where um, were they going? They were originally going to Dubai. Dubai. Um, and then they changed their mind because of they were worried about COVID and the state of things, yeah. and they basically decided to go to Vegas. Um, so we basically house it for them. So that's how we know. But we never left. Bazzers. We usually speak to them every day on WhatsApp. Uh, usually, some funny thing will, will, will come up, and we'll just have a chat. We'll watch each other's vlogs, and I'll take a screenshot of the video, yeah. and I'll be like, I "Can't believe you're doing this on your vlog." Uh, or I wish we were there doing that with you. And stuff I mean, like we that. speak to them less when we're in Florida. When we went in April. We met them twice, I think. Yeah, because we were we were busy. Obviously, we went with Mark and Hannah as well. Um, well, yeah. Apart from when we went in January, we spoke to them every day, obviously. Yeah. We got up and said good morning, and we made coffees. And, and then things. said, right, we'll be back at 10 tonight, and then we'd walk in and they'd be sat on the sofa still, wouldn't they? Yeah, so thanks for those so. questions, guys. Um, I'm going Lots to more to come. some jobs around the house now until we got a live in an hour and a half. Right, tea is ready. I spent ages cooking this. You must be tired. <laughs> Have a nap after. Uh, Are we so having it? Ooh, flies. Uh, get away, get away. It's because you've got every door and window open, that's why. Have you just shut them? I'll shut one of them, yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Um, do you fancy a little bit? This is chicken satay. Yeah. Or satay chicken, should I say. A little um, bit of peanut butter on it? Yeah, we're just going to say that. One then. You got any of that meridian left that's, yeah. that's runny? Runny. Use the meridian because then it won't be um, stodgy. Well, it's only a stodgy bit at the bottom. There you go. Mm. Have fun. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks. Our live goes in uh, live in five minutes, um, which is a right down part. I had to close all the windows and all the doors because the rain was coming in. It's got bacon in here. So we've got an agenda now, yeah, for us live. Have we? I better read it then. I've just wrote it all down. I have read it though. Things that we're going to talk about um, with pressure members and YouTube members on our live. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's as live done. Um, we are just watching a bit of Mr. and Mrs. Theme Park Bazaar. They are currently in Perkins, uh, having lots of scram, which looks very nice. Oh, you've some sorry. Why, yeah. Oh, well, thinking what we're going to have with this cup of tea, which Nick's just making. Mini sorry. Well, no, I think it's the same size as normal sorry. No, it's fair. not. Trust me, that is not. Um, so, we put a cup under that water. Yeah. We're going to have some sorry. Um, watch some vlogs, Nick will probably go to bed while I watch some vlogs. 
Um, I can see there's a new life with Lisa out. Oh, it might be on her It's On A Paper oh. channel, Summer Journaling With Junk. What do you mean, ooh? I didn't hear you, it's all rattling. What are you about? It's Only Paper, a new um, journaling video from Lisa. Um, so, Nikki's gonna make this. Are we having it toasted? No. I like my soaring well, toasted. Two slices each. Although it's it, is, it is very hard to get toasted soaring out of the toaster. It goes all squishy and gooey. Very nice though. Yeah, the lot's almost gone. That's all that's left. Is that it was small? Well, maybe you've just cut them a bit too thick. Oh no, I like it a bit thick. So we'll have um, some butter on that, having a cup of tea, lemon and ginger, and I'm gonna finish the vlog and say good night, goodbye. Um, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. Hope you've enjoyed uh, today's vlog. On the next vlog, the family are arriving, and then we are taking the girls to the Airbnb. Um, so that should be nice for them. They are now broken up from school, obviously. Uh, so they're on their summer holidays. So that's two holidays we're taking them on. Well, this isn't really a holiday. It's just a couple of nights break away. We need to go get some gin then tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, we might be meeting some friends with the girls um, if that all comes about. So you'll see on the next couple of vlogs. So uh, we'll see you on the next vlog. Goodbye. Bye.